worked at the office today, um, all of us did, because we are still learning the new system. We already switched over. We still have the old system. We're gonna keep that for like a year, they said. So we are learning this new system and I actually think it's going to be way better than what we're using now. But so you guys know how we work from home three to four days a week um, and we go in, they call it a hybrid working schedule. So they gave us new computers to take home. And even though these are not Apple computers, computers are still not cheap. And these were brand new in the box. They set it all up for us and everything. So we think that that's a good sign because I know eventually we will go back into um, the office permanently, but the space is not built because it doesn't comply with like the new CDC, you know, rules, how far you have to be apart. Anyway, I think I explained that to you guys. So because that's not together and um, we were using like our own computers and we were just having so much trouble with issues, whatever. So they bought new computers. So my manager is actually going to go to the other bosses. A few of the managers are because they want to keep their same hybrid schedule and we do too. So hopefully this is a good thing because I don't think they would buy brand new computers for a lot of people to take home to use for like, I don't know, two six months however long we are going to be working from home still they said that it was supposed to be done that area in august now they're saying december or january which i don't think that's going to happen because it looks like a train wreck in the space that they're building so yeah let me see if i can show you guys uh, my area i didn't put all of my things up yet i'm just moving a few of my sticky notes that way just to be safe okay it takes up a lot of space but whatever it's way better than the little rig that I had before so let me show you guys okay so these are my new computers screens and the tower right there and I just connected it to the Wi-Fi instead of the Ethernet because that box is in my room so I didn't want to have to drag a big old huge green cord you know all the way into my room so yeah that's my setup now you guys the one thing that I hate is look at this look at all these cords and I am going to try to fold them up into each other the best way I can just to make it neater and put some like zip ties on it or something like that I just don't want to do it right now this took time to put together and we have the remote in and make sure all of our apps and stuff like that was working so that's what I did and yeah that is my computer screen on oh, my computer setup. Y'all, good morning. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. And it's about 1020. I have had a very long morning. My hair is a mess, but um, I got up this morning around 345 and I did overtime today. I started at four. I only did five hours. And then after that, because I am tired, I'm like, if I don't get what I need done, it's going to be a very unproductive day as far as other stuff. So after I clocked out, I straightened up the whole house, vacuumed again with my Hoover, and I'm loving it, you guys. I absolutely love that vacuum cleaner. I did the dishes, the dinner dishes last night, so the kitchen is completely clean. And what else did I do? I cleaned out the bird cage. Um, I feel so sorry for her because she's still loud at times but not as much as she used to when her mate was alive. So I'm hoping that's not her going into a depression or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but after I clean the cage out, I'll put the water on low, have the water sprinkle on her. So she likes that. And then I had my front door open, but I closed it because, good morning. So I know something is on fire somewhere in the neighborhood. And as I was bringing out like the garbage and then some of the boxes from the things we ordered to the recycle bin all this smoke got in the house so I had to close the door it was just too much so yeah um, had a very very productive morning I've actually done everything on my list that I need to do today and yeah actually I got to film a video for my other channel but and here comes Boston she's all alone guys she has lost so many feathers lately. 
um i wonder if that's a thing also with like birds losing their mate i don't know if she's picking it off or if it's just falling off of her so i don't know oh my goodness Ooh, y'all it is what's today it's tuesday morning and i'm about to get up and start my day i've been up a while actually it is 6 30 right now and um normally i start work at 6 30 when i work from home but i know i look a mess you guys anyway um, i normally start at 6 30 when i work from home but we are training for the new system and so i have to go in today i don't have to be there until 8 but I like getting there around 7.30 because um, I just do to get a seat. We have training rooms and whatnot, but I just want to make sure I get a seat where I can feel comfortable. I don't know. And I'm going to stop and get coffee. So, yeah, do that. But um, I, did I say I've been up for a while? I think I got up around like 3.30. I didn't get up, but I woke up and... For some reason I couldn't go back to sleep so a lot of times when I wake up like that and I can't fall asleep I'll just start praying so I prayed for a little bit and then I still stayed awake so I don't know you guys I'm I know in like <laughs> a few hours I'm gonna feel exhausted and I'm going to want to crash so um, the training today because um, we had training yesterday as well but the one today it's part of this it's the same one but they said it should only last maybe like four hours because the trainer is actually in florida and here's the thing i know i'm rambling a lot whatever at this early in the morning but the trainer is in florida i guess normally for the system that we're we are using now they would fly the person out to the sites no matter where it is in the united states so they can teach that person about the new software well because of covid um everything is on zoom and stuff like that so we are actually in the training room and we have our own headsets we have each one of us has like two computer screens set up and we're spaced apart so it's safe like that but my whole thing is can't we do that at home i don't get it but we have to go in to do the training that the person isn't even there training us I don't know whatever I better get up because I turned off my snooze and honestly the way I'm feeling if I lay back down I'm gonna be asleep and then my manager will be calling me um Michelle where are you so I'm in training no one else has made it in yet I'm the only one that's in here and I'm all the way in the back so I'm about to log in and just um, be on my phone until we start Hello everyone, so I am at home now after we had our um, training. It only lasted until 12. We were able to come home and work the rest of the day. So I have about 30 minutes left and I am done for today. It's four o'clock and I'm used to being off by now unless I'm doing overtime and I'm not doing overtime today. I'm just going to um, clock out because I wanna go um, get some things for my laundry room because remember I told you guys I'm redoing that so yeah I'm gonna go um, see what I can pick up and I'm picking up paint so yeah that's about it I actually forgot about my last break so that's the reason why I'm taking a break so close to um, so close to me clocking out so hey yeah. so I am back home and I went to Lowe's and I went to Walmart and Hobby Lobby and I found some things for my laundry room and of course I'm not going to show you guys any of that right now because you know me I'm going to put it in a separate video and I also placed the order for some things they're not going to be here till like the middle of September so and it's for the laundry room because things that I couldn't find what am I doing what's going on Oh, things that I couldn't find in the store I'm like you know what instead of going from Walmart to Walmart or from 
Hobby Lobby to wherever. Let me just order it online, make sure I get it. So I'm actually going to start in the laundry room tonight. And yeah, um, the girls are out um, bowling with friends. So it's just me in Boston. He is in Savannah's room. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go change into my painting clothes and get started. I'm so excited, you guys. I cannot wait for this transformation. My laundry room is so tiny, but it'll be okay. Okay, let's see how long that stays. I'm not gonna have you guys there very long anyway. I just wanted to come in and open up the vlog, say hey, and today is September 2nd. Today is actually my birthday. Um, I am 49 years old today, you guys. And my kids, especially my girls, love saying, Mom, you're almost 50. Can I get 49 yet? Now that I'm 49, okay, you can say I'm almost 50. So, yeah, um, today's my birthday, and I woke up in not a great mood because y'all know I'm not a morning person anyway. I just wanted to lay in bed, and I'm like, I should not have to go to work on my birthday. I wanted to call in so bad but no, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. We switched over to the new system and we're still, we still have the old system because we still have accounts we need to work in that old system to clean them up. But um, my manager wants us there for support for everyone else. And it's like, lady, we barely know how to work the system. Who are we supposed to be supporting? So I don't know. Anyway, hopefully if she keeps her word, um, we'll be there in the morning and then we can come home this afternoon to work. Okay, so I came home and Savannah presented me with these flowers. Aren't they really pretty? I love it, you guys. And at my work, they got me cheesecake because they know that's one of my favorite cakes. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. But yes, you guys, I absolutely love the flowers. I'm so excited because my um, flooring came for the laundry room, I'm gonna be laying flooring in there. I'm probably gonna fall asleep for a couple of hours until Shia and Savannah get off work, and then I don't know what plans we have or whatever. Tyke said I should be expecting something today. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, what else? That's about it. I got some more flowers, guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to give him a gift. I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bus today. But it took me way Whoa, too long. Whoa, those do are this. heck of long. These are really long for this base. Are you gonna cut them? It's okay. What um, are those red things? I don't know, but they're pretty. They haven't even opened yet. Okay, my gift. What should I open the card first? Oh. They're thinking this is the <laughs> May today be the start of an incredible year. I don't know why I did this. I won't read this personal thing, but it says, it's never too early or too late to dream new dreams, wish new wishes, and set out on new paths. Whatever you're hoping for is what I wish for you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Cheyenne. You're read welcome. The, read the other part. Not loud, but I'm... Okay, we'll turn it off. Okay, ready? Yes. Oh my. It's kind of straightforward. I didn't have like a gift bag or nothing, so. Just leave it to somebody. Close your eyes then, open. Oh, okay, close. Them. Gonna close my eyes. And then put your hands out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so okay, there we go. Ooh, la la. I like. What is, wait, what is this? What is it? So what's Open the gift? It. Open the box. In the box first. <gasps> I have been wanting a pair of these shoes for like ever. The gift is also the wrapping. So. Look at that. That's also the gift, Mama. You're so ghetto, Savannah. So that's the wrapping paper. But it's also the gift. Thank you. You know what that is, right? Um. You sent it to me. <laughs> did I? Look <laughs> like. <laughs> I like it. I can return I'm just trying it. to. I'm just trying to. No, I'm just trying to. Oh. Wait, what? I said I can return. Tell? No, I said I can. So we are in. Why did I forget where we are? Shine is in the bathroom. Lobster. We're in Red Lobster. Yeah, we're about to have dinner for my birthday, and so I'm so excited. I hope you guys can hear me. 
So Tyreek, Annie, and the baby are here, and I got flowers and cards. They surprised me. I did not know they were going to be here. So I'm confused. What do you mean by there were six on one? There's six on one plate. So, so this is the aftermath. I forgot <laughs> to vlog before. Hi guys, so today is Friday and um, I didn't vlog anymore last night after my birthday dinner. I didn't vlog a lot. We went to Red Lobster and Tyreek and Annie surprised me. Tyreek had told me, oh, I have a little surprise for you tonight. I'm like, okay. And normally I'm pretty intuitive and I can guess things and get things. There's not much that gets by me, you know? So I'm thinking, okay, well, he's going to send me flowers or there's going to be a package. So we get ready and the girls are taking an extremely long time which I found out later they did that on purpose because Tyreek lives an hour away. They were like stalling because Tyreek, uh, they had to wait until Tyreek got off work. So anyway, um, nothing was coming, no packages. And so for a slight second, for a slight second, I thought, well, maybe they're gonna surprise me at the restaurant. I'm like, no, they're not gonna do that because Annie would have told me, because earlier I was talking to Annie and she said that Kehlani wasn't feeling very well she's cranky and she's down for her nap and hopefully she'll feel better once she wakes up and so that thought completely went out of my mind I'm like no they're not coming okay whatever so we get there and Cheyenne goes up and tells them how many and I'm letting her handle it because I'm like whatever and I didn't hear anything she said and then Cheyenne went to the bathroom and then Savannah stood up like she was gonna go to the bathroom also and I still didn't get anything you guys nothing was clicking and then all of a sudden, here comes Cheyenne, and then here comes Tariq, Annie, and the baby. And I'm like, what? I was so shocked that they surprised me. Like I said, there's not very much that gets by me, but that was a nice surprise. So I had all my kids, my daughter-in-law, and then um, the baby. So yeah, you guys, we had a nice dinner and hung out and laughed and just spent time together and I got so many flowers, flowers from Cheyenne, Savannah, and Tariq and Annie and Kehlani. And when I get home later, you guys, I will tell you, not tell you, but I'll show you the card that Kehlani got me and she signed it also. It was so cute. So yeah, and actually right now, um, I didn't even tell you it was after work, it's Friday, I don't know, I'm just rambling on and on. But anyway, it is Friday and after work and I, I'm actually meeting up with two of my friends. So her birthday is Sunday. So we're just going to have a birthday dinner tonight. So I probably will not vlog at all there. And yeah, that's about it right now, you guys. I just went into Home Depot to get some more paint for my laundry room because what I have at home, I'm not liking. So yeah, that's it. And I'm supposed to meet her at 5.30. It's in the ghetto, y'all. Excuse me, it's called Fixings. Fixing Soul Kitchen. So yeah, she says that it's so good and all that. And so she swears by it. She's gonna take her word and hopefully it is, it is really good soul food. I don't know. Um, I'm actually cheating because I did start a little something to try to um, get healthy, you guys, because I gained weight during the shutdown. And I know you can see it, but it's whatever. Um, alrighty. What is the address? It's in Oak Park. Anybody knows anything about Sacramento knows Oak Park is in the hood. And I do mean the hood. It's in the get hell. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'll talk Hello, to you Hello, everyone. It is Sunday and it's actually after church. We had like a church camp out over the weekend. I didn't stay the night because I'm not a camper. I don't. <laughs> that's just not me. Um, but I went during the day, all day. Yesterday, um, I didn't vlog at all because I'm still getting to know them and didn't want to pull out a camera or whatever. They are very friendly, very nice. I'm sure they would not have minded me taking pictures or anything like that, but I don't know. I'll wait for that later, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so did all that. I'm exhausted, actually. I'm off tomorrow. Tomorrow is um, Labor Day. I'm about to go do some more painting in my laundry room. And then while that coat is drying, I will go wash dishes because me, Cheyenne, and Savannah, we've been gone um, all weekend. And you would think there would be no dishes in a sink because we weren't, we weren't here 
all day long we would be here at night but i don't know clean up the kitchen and just do a few little things that way tomorrow i can just rest and not have to worry about doing anything i will probably still you know work on my laundry room tomorrow yeah all right you guys so that's about it for now and i will vlog as much as i can today um kehlani is supposed to come over tomorrow to visit hopefully so hopefully i'll get to see her and tyreek and annie um yeah so let's go um and actually my laundry room i'm making a separate video for that so you guys won't see it for a while because something that i ordered on amazon is going to take four weeks to get here yeah crazy but I want to have everything together before I show it. Okay, so I had all three of my bundles of flowers here. And we came home from church today. And I seen the vase and the flowers, the one that was here, just laid out here. And I'm like, what in the world happened? You know, I thought maybe, I don't know, maybe someone bumped against the wall. Maybe, because my bedroom is right, right there. So I'm thinking maybe if I hit against the wall, it fell. But that would have mean all of them would have tipped over, right? So that's why I have that towel here soaking up the water. And I have it over here. And what I realized is the flowers are just too heavy for the vase. So what I'm going to do is, cause see when I stand it up, it's just really heavy. So what I'm going to do is cut some of the stems. That way it can be shorter and not as tall. Okay, so dishes are all done. Those are going and I straightened up the house, vacuumed and everything. And now I'm just relaxing and I'm actually waiting on the coat of paint to dry in the laundry room. And then I will work on the cabinets, painting them because you guys know I will paint my cabinets. I've had those 90s wood grade, builder's grade cabinet color and I absolutely hate it and that's me personally. I know some people like the wood color but I don't so I'm painting it and I'm actually watching videos on YouTube and I'm on Pinterest at the same time just getting more ideas for my laundry, laundry room. I pretty much know what I'm going to do but I'm just looking for more decoration and the space is not that big but at least if I can make it nice while i'm in there doing laundry it'll make me want to do laundry more so who knows i mean we i have to do laundry because i have to have clean clothes but i don't like doing laundry i like doing laundry as much as i like washing dishes so yeah anyway so just waiting on that i am so tired i have been painting and basically painting for like the last four hours because paint and wait and I'm laying down now, but I'm trying not to fall asleep because I'm going to wait about 30 minutes and then paint another coat. Anyway, you guys, I don't know. This may be it for tonight. Probably it's going to be it for tonight. And then I will just pick back up tomorrow because I'm tired and I don't see me filming as far as for the vlog. So see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. It's Labor Day. Um and i'm home and i'm exhausted it's 9 30. i'm still tired but i decided to get up i went to bed around two last night because i was still painting the laundry room because i wanted to have the majority of the paint done i still have to do one more coat on the cabinet because you can see um some of the brown peeking through and yeah it's a sneak peek but that board there I had it cut at Home Depot and I'm putting up a shelf in my laundry room that's why my chairs are moved back because I learned from last time when I painted there some paint got on one of my chair covers if you guys remember that so I moved them back this time that way they're you know didn't get damaged so yeah I just had breakfast um, and I'm drinking my coffee but I'm about to go paint a Another coat, like I said, on the cabinets. And Tyreek may or may not come over today. Um, this is his only day off. And if he doesn't come over, I totally get it. Because, you know, on my days off, if 
I only had one day. I would want to stay home and relax. And they don't live far, but still, they still have a ways to go to get here. So anyway, um, that may or may not happen today. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday. I'm on my way into work. I'm supposed to be there at 8. It's 7.45, and I may still make it on time, but I woke up at 7.15, y'all. 7.15. You see, when I have to go into the office, I get up, like, way earlier. That way I have time to drive. Sorry, you guys. The road is bumpy, and this is already not a good spot to be. I already texted my manager and let her know that, you know, I'm probably going to be late. So... Yeah, but the good thing is today is the last day of the training and hopefully we can go home by noon and work the rest of the day. And the good thing about my job is if I'm late like this, which I'm probably going to be like 10 minutes late, maybe 15 at the most. Um, I'm almost there actually, but I can work a little bit longer just to make up my time. So that's the good thing, but the bad thing is I'm just gonna have to work longer. I picked up some more paint from Walmart for the little things that I'm doing for my laundry room. And then what happened after that? Went to Carl's Jr. for Savannah. She got that, um, the Beyond Beef Burger. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. But <laughs> anyway, and then afterwards I went home and didn't even set my alarm. Did not set it. And I woke up and I was wondering why it's so bright outside. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's 7.15. It's late. So, yeah, you guys, good thing I took my shower last night. Because if I didn't, I would be even later. But I usually take my showers at night. Yeah, I know I'm just rambling. But anyway, decided to bring out the camera, open up the vlog. And hello, I am back at home working the rest of the day. I'm tired y'all, I'm sleepy. I have to work until um, about 4.40 because I was about 10 minutes late. Normally when we have training, we have to be there at 8 to 4.30. But because I was late, I'm gonna have to get off a little bit later if I wanna get my hours, and I do. So yeah, but on a regular day, which tomorrow we're back at home, back to our hybrid schedule. And I will be able to start at 6 or 6.30 or seven if I want um, at the latest and then I can get off around anywhere between 2.30 or 3.30 I don't know depends on what time Good morning, I start. everyone it is Friday um, I didn't vlog anymore last night what did we do after work we went to um, they had prayer at the church so we just went to that and pretty much came home. My mom is in town, and I know this is a weird spot for me to be sitting. I usually never sit here. Anyway, my mom is in town, and I always tease her because she's only staying until Saturday, so two nights at my house, and she always packs so much. I tease her every time, and it's all in, you know, fun, but she packs like the lady from Titanic. Remember that when she had like trunks and loads and loads of luggage and she wasn't even staying long? That's my mom. Let me show you guys. So this, you guys, is all of my mom's stuff. <laughs> um, I guess her clothes are in there, whatever, I don't know. And then she's doing some type of project for my uncle. So that's the reason why that's there. But yeah, this is all of my mom's things for two nights. Me, I would have had everything in one bag and called it a day. <laughs> and yes, I have my door open just to let some air in because it's kind of stuffy in here right now but it's supposed to be like over 100 degrees so i just wanted to show you guys the update on my plant y'all i don't know what i'm doing wrong because these three pieces died and i don't know this is all that left it definitely had more leaves on it so i don't know what i'm doing wrong but this one on the other hand it's thriving and I mean you guys can see look right there there is like new growth and you know this is fairly new so I'm doing something I still had to prune a few of the leaves that were dead or whatever but so I'm doing something right with this maybe this is just an easier plant to take care of y'all I just don't have it I tried I really tried and yeah that's gonna be gone soon i mean i know it looks green and nice whatever but 
this is how it starts so yeah any green thumbs out there let me know what I'm doing wrong please help me please hey it's me hello y'all did I even pick up the camera today yeah I did I showed you guys my mom's luggage and then I was showing you guys the plants okay so I don't know if I said happy Friday Happy Friday. Almost 7.30 and the girls are actually gone. They have gone to... So the church that we have been attending, even though I haven't made it official, um, it's probably going to be where we are going to go. But the girls are going to... It's some kind of youth um, event and they're playing volleyball. So they're doing that. My mom it's not here so she comes because she helps one of my aunts out that lives here and my aunt is kind of sick so my mom helps take care of things for her so that's what she's doing and um it's just me in boston and boston is in savannah's room because he's you know you know how you good morning everyone it is saturday and i am actually at the church that we've been attending. I'm off to the side in the shade, as you can see. Savannah signed up for a group, um, and I forgot what it's called. Um, in his presence, um, that's not it. I don't know, something that has to, well, of course, has to do with God or whatever, but um, also they're doing pottery as well, so I had to come bring her to that and because I didn't sign up for that group I actually signed up for a group that's going to be next week it's a DIY class and y'all know that's right up my alley another prayer group for prodigals so I am going to be going to that next week so I'll be back here at the church um, next week um, two days in a row <clears throat> So, yeah, just wanted to open up the vlog and say, hey, um, my mom is still in town. She was actually supposed to be leaving today, but we just found out that my great uncle, which is my grandmother's brother, had surgery yesterday and none of us knew it. So I think she's going to stick around so she can help him out because his wife, which is my aunt, she's in the beginning stages of Alzheimer's and he's taking care of her so i don't know why i'm telling you guys all this y'all didn't ask and i'm just watching y'all i'm watching this movie called karen someone sent me like a link to the trailer which i didn't see the full trailer but i knew about the movie y'all i've had to take so many breaks from this movie because it's making me so upset and if you watch it and be like, oh, they're exaggerating. No, they're not. Yeah. But I'm gonna finish watching this movie so I can get it over with. It's called Karen. Yeah. Hey, haven't had y'all here in a minute, huh? I feel like a cold coming on. So I bought some Tylenol cold and flu, even though it's not a flu it's not COVID um, I just don't feel good and you know how when your body's on the go you feel fine but then the minute you slow down a little bit the sickness seeps in at least it does for me I feel like a kid when I take this type of medicine that's never good anyway this has acetaminophen in it and I know I said it wrong acetaminophen in it so I don't need to take my Tylenol every time I swallow my ear hurts you guys it's so weird and I am going to make my coffee just got some almond creamer I actually went to Walmart um, when I got home today Savannah didn't go with me her and Cheyenne are off running errands and it's just Boston and I but I want to make some coffee Grab my Winchester mystery mug. So the girls are not here, right? But let me show you where Boston is. The crate is open. But he is there. See the door? It's open. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Boston. Why are you in your crate? 
maybe he feels like he is closer to her I don't know I closed the doors back there because even though he would just go in there and sit she has a bunch of papers and he likes to chew on papers that's the only thing he does he doesn't chew on anything else but he gets in the trash like toilet paper and stuff like that yeah I'm talking about you Boston he's looking like what okay I guess you just want to lay there but I guarantee if I close the door he will be whining I'm not gonna do it to him yes he decided to come oh no he's going back This was up, or this is up, so you guys already know. Yes, Kehlani was here. Now I'm about to break it down and put it away.